It's day two of the Future Blockchain Summit at the Dubai Harbor. I'm Renal Hernandez and sitting here with me, we have Dimitri, who is the CEO of Neurometrics AI. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Hi. So we're going to talk about all things AI. Tell me about Neurometrics and what you're working on. Right. So Neurometrics AI is, is uh, the startup, the technology. It's basically an eye tracking technology that is based on our artificial intelligence. And uh, the idea is to perform eye tracking, both in physical stores and online in e to uh, understand basically how software enables to understand where your consumer is looking, where uh, he or she, whether he or she is noticing this or that product. Okay, uh, so this means that I'm in a store, right? And I'm in a physical store. Yeah. I'm browsing, looking around, yeah. I pick something up. Right. And the AI can tell that I'm looking at this object for too long. <laughs> exactly. No, the AI gives to uh, gives the uh, retailer where you're shopping at the extra layer of analytics to understand who the consumer is for certain type of brands, for certain type of products, to better optimize your consumer experience afterwards. To also understand how they should organize the categories, how they should put the products on shelves, what is the right planogram, you know. Where do they put their highest marginal products? What are the hotspots on shelf? What are the cold zones? Where to locate the products in a way to increase the productivity from one square meter? Okay, okay, that's interesting. And so what sparked this idea? Why did you decide to found this? So actually, uh, that it's um, mostly my background. It's a corporate background. I'm, uh, I was working in marketing uh, for Procter & Gamble and then for Coty. That's, uh, Procter & Gamble is a big FMCG company that produces all kinds of uh, products and Coty is a luxury um, luxury beauty company that manages uh, brands like Gucci, Tiffany, Burberry uh, and a lot of mass market beauty brands like Max Factor, Bourjois, etc. So um, it's um, a lot in this business depends on how you build the consumer path to purchase, the consumer experience in store, both in physical stores and online. And uh, as a big uh, company with prevailing market share, we've been working with retailers and brands on based prim primarily on that, how to make the consumer experience more seamless, um, easier, easy to, you know, go uh, easier to go down the final shopping final in e-com and offline. Okay, but and I that's thought most works. things were going online, like you say, towards mm. e-commerce. Personally, I'm a fan of going to a physical store and buying my whatever I want right away. Right. But in a world where things are becoming increasingly digital and virtual and people like to do things at the convenience of their home, why create this product <laughs> that focuses on physical retail? It, it is actually, a, well, our solution is actually omnichannel. So it, one side is for physical retail and then we have a solution for e-com as well. Okay. So it's an app that does the same thing. It analyzes your, it, it performs eye tracking from the frontal camera of your smartphone and then it records the screen and then you can build a heat map of every stage of the consumer journey for online retailers to understand um, that well, to, to optimize their UX UI at every stage of the shopping journey. Okay, got it. What so works then, does work. Yeah. On the topic of AI, what would you say to someone who's a little fearful and scary and scared of this technology, especially if it interferes with their day-to-day -day activities? I would say uh, get to a place like Dubai <laughs> because once you get in this atmosphere, once once you get uh, to understand how all these you know technological advancements are supported here by the government, it's incredible actually. This morning I've been at this private briefing with the UAE Minister of Economy uh, and uh, he was describing uh, the ambition of the United Arab Emirates in the field of uh, digital AI, everything that attracts talent, attracts people, attracts people like you're asking, who are just wondering if it is, uh, you know, feasible to do yeah. that. Yeah. But it is feasible because it helps to build the whole country's economy right now. So, okay. like and here. Since we are at the Future Blockchain Summit right now, how do you envision the future of just emerging tech and tech in general looking like in our everyday lives? Well, I mean, it's becoming faster and faster, the evolution of these tools, evolution of these technologies, they're changing one another. And uh, I mean, they're shaping the future. I mean, take ChatGPT, take uh, the, all the generative AI neural networks that generate content for brands for well, all kind of marketing use right now, seamlessly. I mean, before you had to spend a couple of months with different creative agencies developing uh, an ad campaign. Right. Now you can do it in, within minutes using generative AI. So, I mean, it's 
in a nutshell, it's making our life faster. It's making the evolution uh, and in technology and in retail, in business in general, much, much faster. It's so 10 times faster than before. So. Right, so nothing can fear that. All right, well, thank you so much for your time, Dimitri. Thank you so much.